Brought to you by 1AAuto.com, your source for quality replacement parts and the best service on the internet. Hi, I'm Mike from 1AAuto. I hope this how-to video helps you out. And next time you need parts for your vehicle, think of 1AAuto.com. Thanks. In this video, we're going to show you how to replace the windshield wiper motor on this 2003 Chevy Monte Carlo. And it's the same part and procedure for a range of different GM uh, makes and models. And tools you'll need are a new wiper motor from 1AAuto.com, 10 and 13 millimeter socket ratchet, T30 Torx driver, and a flat blade screwdriver. Start off by prying off these caps on the end of either wiper arm. And then remove the 13 millimeter nuts that hold those in place. Use a flat blade screwdriver and just pry right here at the bottom of the wiper arm and then lift it up and off the stud. You can just set that aside and repeat the process on the other wiper arm. Disconnect your washer hose from the wiper arm. And do the same thing with this wiper arm. And your arms are free. Pull off the weather strip and unclip your washer hose. And just set those aside. And you want to remove this clip, this clip, and right there, there should be a third clip. And to remove these, you just pry up the center and pull it out, and then pry out the base. Just repeat the process on the other two. And then for this clip right here, you just want to twist out with a flat blade screwdriver while lightly prying up with another screwdriver. And then you should be able to pull it up and out. Now lift this cowl panel up and set it aside. and lift up this panel and remove it. Now remove this bolt, this bolt, and this bolt right here. Each of those are 10 millimeter. Next, you want to remove this panel, and to do that, you just need to pry up on this clip right here using a flat blade screwdriver. Pop out, and you can lift the panel up and off. Now you want to pry this arm free. Just tuck it to the side and then pull your transmission up until you can access the harness on the motor. And then just push the tab with a flat blade screwdriver and pull the harness free. And now you can pull your transmission up and out. Remove the plastic cover on your transmission crank and turn your transmission crank so it's up against that post on the side there and then just remove the T30 bolt in the center. Use a large flat blade screwdriver to pry the crank arm free. If you do have a two jaw or a three jaw puller you could do this without removing the whole transmission assembly from the vehicle. Now remove the three T30 Torx bolts that hold the motor to the mount.
On the left is the old wiper motor, on the right is the new one from 1A Auto. You can see they're identical and they'll fit exactly the same. Put this cover back on your motor and then put it back underneath the mount and then replace and tighten up those three bolts. And then feed your transmission back down into place and reconnect your motor harness. And don't pay any attention to the fact that the crank arm is already installed. Uh, you actually want to install it after you uh, run and position the motor, um, which we kind of did a little bit out of order. But if you stay with the video here, um, it'll all come together. Replace the three screws that hold the transmission in place. The crank arm has to go on in a specific position, so turn your key on and turn the wipers on to one of the delay positions. Let the motor go around once or twice and stop, and then turn your key off without turning off the wipers. In this next clip, uh, the assembly is out of the vehicle. Um, I realize this might be confusing, but it was just a better way to be able to uh, film this and really show you the line of pull and how to put the arm on. Okay, your arm should be in the locked or running position. The lineup tool down here, there's a lineup hole right here. While you're tightening up that uh, torque screw, you want to make sure that the arm does not move. So hold that lineup tool as, while you're while you're uh, tightening that bolt. And then just turn your key on and let it pulse. And then turn the wipers off. And it should reset like this. Then reconnect your arm. Just push it down into place. And then push this panel back down into place and line up that clip and push it back down in. Place your calc panel. And do the same thing on this side and replace those clips. And you want to replace the base first with the center still up and then just push it down to lock it. Reclip your wiper hose. And then put your weather strip back into place. Push this clip back down. I figure I'll just fast forward and through this. I should push the center one in. Push the wiper arms down onto the studs. And replace those 13 millimeter nuts. Once you've tightened those up, replace the washer hose and the cap. And do the same thing for the other wiper arm.
and then you're all set. We hope this video helps you out. Brought to you by 1AAuto.com, your source for quality replacement parts and the best service on the internet. Please feel free to call us toll free 888-844-3393. We're the company that's here for you on the internet and in person.